Hi everyone, it's Pauline Green and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, ang pag-uusapan natin, ugali. Okay, ugali. Ugali ng mga tao sa social media, especially nowadays. Okay, so this is going to be still pageant related somehow, but this will focus mainly doon sa toxicity na nangyayari ngayon sa social media regarding the current Miss Universe pageant, okay? In the past few days, everyone is has been very competitive. Lahat tayo gusto nating yung manok natin yung manalo, yung girl natin yung makaronahan. Lahat tayo ganun kasi syempre, they represent us. They represent our country. They represent our values. Kung ano yung pinapakita nila sa stage, they represent the whole country. ba? So, we want them to be perfect. They want them to really give it their best. Especially the last time when Catriona Gray won, it has been crazy. The Catriona effect continued until this year. It's been how long? It's been three years ever since um, Catriona Gray was crowned Miss Universe 2018. Pero until now, baliw na baliw pa din ang mga fans dun sa pinakita niyang standard and level of performance, which is understandable, which is considerable and of course lahat ng nation talagang napawaw talagang napanganga talagang gustong gusto yung performance ni Catriona Gray walang ibang masabi kundi it's amazing because it's true di ba now ang issue kasi dito um yung mga tao yung mga fans uh, dahil nagkaroon kayo ng ganun kataas na expectation ganun kataas na standard and nakita nyo na nag-perform si Catriona Gray last 2018, it doesn't mean that you are already good on deciphering or um, giving some insights or inputs or suggestions um, na major. No? Wala tayong control kasi sa mga ganung bagay. We are just the viewers. We are just the audience. Yes, makakapagsabi tayo ng opinion natin, pero at up to what extent? Up to a uh, certain limitation nasan yung limitation dun sa pagsasabi natin ng mga insights natin san tayo titigil at san tayo pwedeng magbigay ng magbigay ng suggestion now we are in a very crucial part of the Miss Universe pageant we are already um, done with the national costume and the preliminary competition bukas it is the Miss Universe Finals Night. It's crazy. Every girl is dreaming of this. And they deserve to enjoy the moment. They deserve to be stress-free, worry-free. Hindi pwedeng dapat hanggang sa dulo eh, tayo pa din yung nasa isip nila. Do you understand? We are, of course, um, free. Diba? We are so free to give our opinion. We are so free to speak. Pero yung mga sinasabi natin, minsan masyado nang below the belt. Especially those sa mga, dun sa mga um, sikat na personalities. Nadadala ng bugso ng damdamin, agad na magpo-post. And guess what happens? They are being misinterpreted by many people. And it's very toxic already. Yung katoksikan natin sa pag-support, masyado nang ano eh masyado na talaga yung mataas yung level of toxicity in a way na sisiraan mo yung other candidate pag sasabihan mo ng ganto magiging biased ka na um, which is biased is being a part of talagang pagiging pageant fan no? pero yung pagiging biased mo is nagiging below the belt ka na that's toxic you are n- you're you're not giving enough credit dun sa pinaghirapan ng candidate na to if she reached this level it's because she did it it's because her organization did it it's because she sacrificed everything for it okay yung mga matters like the national costume the gowns na isuot na na ipalabas na wala na tayong control dun the best thing that we can do is to appreciate the performance okay kasi sabi nga nila diba um wala sa damit yun nandun yun sa nagsosuot 
so I know it has a very big bearing sa performance ng candidate. Yung itsura ng gown, of course, of course, of course. But the thing is, wala na tayong control doon. We keep on stressing over things that we can't control. That's why it becomes toxic. We keep on arguing on the things that at this part of the competition doesn't matter anymore. Because it's done. Kasi nangyari na. And it's already shown to the whole world. And wala na tayo talaga magagawa doon. Hindi na natin mababalik yung time. The best thing to do is to appreciate what has been served sa table. Diba? Kasi nandun na eh. Now, if you still uh, keep on supporting, kahit na may nakita kang minor um, uh, siguro disappointments, I understand. I respect your opinion. Definitely, definitely, because we are all fans here. We see something, we talk about it because that's how free we are. Pero diba, the level of toxicity on free speech is crazy. Kasi yung iba talagang dinadaan na lang sa pandalait eh. Ah, ito si ano, bobo yan, hindi yan makakapasok. Things like that. Even though hindi mo naman kilala yung candidate talaga. Even though hindi ka naman nanood ng mga previous interviews niya. So, tayo, mahilig tayo mag-share. Especially for those people who really study these girls. Like me, grabe, lagi akong niloloko ng kasama ko dito sa bahay na, oh, nag ka na naman, panayhanap ka na naman ng tungkol sa pageant, kay Rabia, Rabia, Rabia Mateo, because I am crazy about her. I am crazy about the pageant. I am crazy about Miss Universe in particular. Of course, I will study the girls. I will check out their profiles. I will follow them if I love them. If I love their performance, yung speaking abilities nila. Kasi adik ako dun. Gusto ko yung mga tao na magaling magsalita. Gusto ko yung mga tao na nakaka-inspire. Gusto ko yung mga girls, especially women, na nakakapag paramdam sa akin na, oh, okay, hindi ako iba sa kanila. I love the energy. I love that kind of concept. Gusto ko yung mga ganun. Nakikita ko yung mga potential ng iba at isa kapag pinapanood ko sila, ko sila, no? Okay, for example, in my top 5, hindi kasama si Thailand, even at this part of, or at this point of the competition. Why? Because I have my own perspective and standards. Nagset ako ng sarili kong standards. Okay, I understand Thailand is part of your top 5. But you should also respect my opinion na hindi siya part ng top 5 ko. It's because I have my own basis. If you have your different basis, then yes, we might not agree on that. Okay? So, kaya nagiging chaotic kasi pinipilit natin yung gusto natin, di ba? Pinipilit natin na, ako yung tama, dapat ito yun, dapat ikaw din. Which is impossible to do. Especially nowadays. Marami tayong mga sources of information. Marami tayong kanya-kanyang paraan sa pag-search ng mga girls. Hindi ko alam kung saan ka ba nagbabantay. Sa Facebook ka ba nagbabantay. Sa Instagram ka ba nagbabantay. Kasi ako, girl, sa Instagram ako kumukuha ng information. And Instagram is more accurate than Facebook. Tandaan nyo yan. Yung mga fake news na nakikita nyo, mostly kumakalat saan sa Facebook. Which is true. Why Instagram? It's because sa Instagram, yung mga profiles ng girls, yung mga profiles ng organization, they are verified. You can see it beside their names. It has a blue check. So, dan, dun ka makakasigurado na, okay, this is the legit profile of Miss Universe Thailand. This is the legit profile of Rabia Mateo, of Amanda Obdam, of Miss Puerto Rico, etc., etc. Dun mo talaga nakikita yung personalities nila. Okay, so... Why can't I include Thailand in my top 5? For example na lang. Um, because I still can't see the improvement on speech. Okay? Yes, si, si Catriona yung nag-set ng standard. She set it so high, it's so hard to reach. On what? On what terms? On speaking terms? On communication? On being a spokesperson? Doon niya talaga ni level up. Diba? Tama naman. Um, when it comes to the dresses, the gowns, the swimsuit, every girl can kill that part. Every girl can perform so good in that part. Kahit sino kayang gawin ng magaling yung execution ng gown, yung swimsuit competition, yung introduction, lahat sila kaya nilang gawin ng maganda yun. So it's very hard to... Um, balance everything kapag dun ka lang nakabase sa physical aspect. No? You know what I'm saying? 
Pero pag ipinasok natin dito si utak and yung bibig. Kung ano ba yung lumalabas sa bibig mo, kung ano ba yung naiisip ng candidate na to, paano niya yun tinatransfer or um, paano niya yun sinasabi, yung laman ng puso niya, kung paano niya yun dinadirect sa tao, at kung nakakapag-inspire siya ng tao, if she radiates this positive energy, then definitely this girl is going to be the next Miss Universe period. Yun yung hinahanap ko, and I can't find it with Miss Thailand. I'm so sorry if you are a fan, a fan of her. I hope you understand my my opinion on this, but that's a fact. Like for example, Australia has been a, a part of my top five ever since their um, up close video has been released. Um, but lately, in the performances, she seems to be, um, you know, nawawala. Parang natatabunan na, kasi syempre, um, we all know she's petite, right? Um, hindi siya ganun ka super katangharan. And probably, she reserves her energy. Wala tayong alam. It can be a strategy as well. Ngayon na nagtataasan na yung mga other countries, baka mamaya sa finals, manggulat siya. Miss Philippines is very pressured right now. She needs her support. She needs her positive messages. Lahat ng queens nagsama-sama para lang masuportahan si Rabia. So I really hope that we stop this toxic mindset. Tagilan, tigilan na natin yun. Tama ng comments sa mga bagay na hindi na natin control. Okay? Let's move on. Appreciate what has been served on the table. Just like what I said earlier. Um, let's just, you know, be excited, be happy. Kasi journey niya to. She deserved to enjoy it. Diba? Anong maaalala ni Rabia Mateo after nung laban niya? Maaalala niya yung pumalpak siya sa natkos? Maaalala niya na binaba siya ng mga tao? Maaalala niya na hindi sapat sa mga Pilipino yung mga ginawa niyang sacrifices? How selfish are you? Diba? How selfish are you to do that to her? She doesn't deserve that. Kasi dito pa lang sa local, na-stress na siyang masyado, di ba? Marami nang hindi naniwala na she can, she can be the MUPH. But she did. Nakita nyo naman, siya yung nanalo. I know, I may I may be like 75% biased. Kasi nga, sabi ko, ilongga din ako. But also, I am being objective when it comes to setting my expectations binabalanse ko rin yun. Kapag nafe-feel ko na parang medyo nawawala yung shine niya or parang bumababa siya, I know to myself, hindi na ako mag expect Pero kasi, I can see the determination. I can see the focus. I can see that she is very queenly. She gives me this super positive vibe. I know it's not it's not exactly like how I felt way back with Catriona Gray na parang sure na sure ako, oh my gosh, this girl is the winner period i know hindi ganun ka 100% sure dahil marami din ngayon ang magagaling na girls puerto rico is there south africa is there peru is there indonesia is also performing um and in all fairness i am very impressed with miss indonesia especially nung um telemundo interview wow amazing i just hope na sa finals night Let's just give her 100% and hundred support to Rabia Mateo. That's what she needs right now. She needs to be celebrated. She deserves it. Because her team and she sacrificed so much for this. So, I really hope that tigil na tayo sa toxicity na yan, guys. Tama na, tama na. Move on na tayo sa mga bagay na hindi natin makukontrol. Kasi may i-stress lang tayo. May i-stress ka lang. Box, baka makalbo ka pa, no? kakaisip. So, tigilan na natin yan. Uh, right now, um, I'm pretty sure I can't make a reaction video kasi, sadly, sa finals night, meron akong paso. So, ang mapapanood ko na lang ay yung mga replay. But then, I hope to see you again and I will sum up my, you know, insights, expectations and, of course, the result. Probably, mag-usap-usap tayo kapag lumabas na ang result about what happened di natin alam who will bag the Miss Universe crown this year wala pang 100% because it's crazy a lot of girls is rising up 
Iceland is there, Nepal is there, don't you dare sleep on those girls. Cameroon is there. Maraming pwedeng mangyari. Okay? So, um, I'm just appealing to everyone that let's, let's just support our candidate. Let's just support everyone, all the girls. Okay? Wag, wag yung nagsusupport ka nga sa isang candidate na to may sasabihin ka pang hindi maganda dun sa kabila. Tama na yun. Tigilan mo na yun. Tanggalin mo na sa isip mo yun. So, haya mo na sila. Okay? Just radiate the positivity. Focus ka lang sa positive. Tigilan mo na yung mga pangit na words na gustong lumabas sa bibig mo. Stop mo na yan. Okay? It's 2021 and COVID is there, still there. Hindi na natin kailangan ng dagdag stress sa buhay natin. Okay? Just enjoy the Miss Universe season. Malapit nang matapos ang Miss Universe season. Yun. So, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video na chikahan natin. No? You can leave your opinion down below sa comment section. And of course, huwag mo namang kalimutang mag-subscribe. Tapos, i-like mo na din yung video na to para naman marami din makaduot at makakita. Okay? Share this with your friends, your family, Alam mo na, counting discussion lang about this uh, very, very usong pangyayari ngayon sa mundo natin, sa technology natin, sa social media natin, okay? And of course, thank you so much as always for watching my video. I will see you on the next one. Have a good day.